thinking pink for National Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so I think you can guess the shade that inspired this week's menu. The pink ribbon is an international symbol of breast cancer awareness. We should all be making healthier food and lifestyle choices too. I've chosen some ingredients with powerful cancer-fighting properties for today's menu. We're making tandoori tikka spice salmon, brown lentil, broccoli and spinach pilau. And if you're hosting a pink-themed tea party for cancer, there's a delicious raspberry cream cake. I always love starting out with the cake first. It gives me more time. Here we go with the cake. Four eggs going into a mixing bowl. The eggs are light and airy. Now combine the batter with some boiled water. And stir. Leave the batter to melt. And while that's cooling down, gradually add the sugar to the eggs. That's ready. Self-raising flour going into the mixing bowl. Some corn flour as well. Use a spatula, work very gently and scrape the bottom of the bowl to make sure the dry ingredients are incorporated. It looks lovely and smooth. Add some vanilla essence. To that, some grated lemon zest. Some pink food colouring. And now, the cooled butter and water. Once again, fold those ingredients with a spatula. It forms this lovely pale pink batter. This is now ready. Greased in line, 25 centimeter tin here. Bake this off in a preheated oven at 170 degrees Celsius for about 25 minutes. While the cake's in the oven, I'm starting with the pilau. I've chosen broccoli, brown lentils and spinach for this. A while ago, I used to bribe my kids. It was one rand for every piece of broccoli they ate. They didn't get rich, but they did get into the habit of enjoying broccoli. So we've got some olive oil going into the frying pan. To this. A cinnamon stick and a little bay leaf going in. Some cumin seeds as well. Cumin seeds are really important in Ayurveda. It aids digestion, but it's also used in Middle Eastern and Moroccan food too. I love the flavor of onions in the pilau. Those go into the olive oil. Season with a sprinkling of salt. And saute the onions until they're translucent. The onions have softened. It's time to add the broccoli. It's not everyone's favorite. Don't avoid broccoli, it's really good for you. I prefer the broccoli quite crunchy and while it's still bright green. I've got two cups of cooked basmati rice going over the broccoli. And this rice is already cool. If you use hot rice, it's going to turn into a mush. Sprinkle that over. Lower the heat. Next ingredient, brown lentils. These are high in protein low in fat and they have a lovely nutty flavor as well. Some boiled water going into the pan. This just helps the rice steam up and prevent it from drying out. And a drizzle of olive oil to prevent the rice from sticking. Cover the pan with a tight fitting lid, reduce the heat and leave that to steam through. The cake should be ready, let's take a look. It is ready. It smells absolutely heavenly, light lemony cake with vanilla. And if you're not sure about the cake, just test it with your finger. If you press down, it should always spring back. Let's leave the cake to cool. While the cake's cooling and that pilau is steaming, let's get on with the salmon. Salmon is considered a superfood and we should be eating more of it. It's an excellent source of protein and it's high in vitamins and minerals too. I'm preparing a very simple salmon recipe. And for that, I'm going to pop some salmon into a plastic bag. I'm preparing a quick and easy tandoori marinade for the salmon and for that, some fresh cream going over the salmon. White pepper. A touch of garlic. 
And garlic is one of those magical ingredients. It's great if you're fighting off a cold or a flu. It's considered a blood purifier and an anti-inflammatory as well. Some ajwine, it's also called carom seeds or ajmal. The English word is called lavage. That goes in just a light sprinkling. For the spices, we've got some red chili powder, about a teaspoon and a half, half a teaspoon of ground cumin, and ground coriander. The most important spice in this recipe, the turmeric. It's an anti-inflammatory, We've got black pepper. An interesting fact about black pepper is if you combine black pepper and turmeric, the black pepper actually increases the absorption of turmeric in the body. A pinch of salt and some lemon juice. Now gently work that together. You can leave this to marinate for about an hour or you could just fry it off straight away. I've heated a pan already. And to that, some olive oil. And in goes the salmon. You can fry fish at a higher temperature, but I've got garlic in this marinade and garlic can burn quite easily. So reduce the heat to prevent that from happening. If you like, you can pour in a little chicken stock to prevent the salmon from drying out. The salmon's ready. Let's check on the pilau. That should have steamed through by now, and it has. Just make sure it's not sticking to the bottom. To this, sprinkle over some baby spinach. Add some aromatic garam masala, and then some black pepper. Don't cover this again, switch off the heat, and leave the spinach to wilt. Time to finish up on the cake. You can use buttercream or fresh cream for this cake. I'm using mascarpone. To the mascarpone, add some fresh cream, some icing sugar, and vanilla as well. Use a whisk and work those ingredients together. Try not to overwork the cream. It can split a few soft raspberries. Use a spatula and gently press that down. And when you stir, it creates a raspberry swirl. Pop the cream into a piping bag. I really miss my kids when it comes to filling up piping bags. Press that down. Got a plain nozzle in the center of the cake. Just a little blob. Working around that. Little blobs of cream. During Cancer Awareness Month, there's quite a few tea parties going on and I don't need a second invitation. But I would like to encourage you to attend those tea parties. They're really important. Some of them are to raise funds as well. It takes a fair bit of cream, but you can turn any ordinary cake to something quite magical, and that's done. A little raspberry jam going on top. Little drips, we don't want to ruin the cream. Pink roses, keeping with our pink theme for breast cancer awareness. And then fresh raspberries. That looks really pretty. Time to plate up the feast. I've prepared tandoori tikka spice salmon to go with that brown lentil, broccoli and spinach pilau and for dessert, a raspberry cream cake. Cancer awareness shouldn't be just for a month, it should be an everyday choice. Let's live a pink ribbon lifestyle.